In the previous video, I showed some basic data entry features of SideBill. This video will show some more advanced features, including how to add new locations and how to record hybrids and uncertain identifications. Let's say I visited Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park on Key West and scored a spind at Western Spindalis. Let's start. Enter sightings, and I'll type the name of the spot. Now, I've never been there before, so SideBill doesn't know the location. I'll click Next to describe the location. This is a park, and it's in Florida. F, L, and there we are. But I would like to tell SideBill that this is in Key West. So I click More Specific and type that in. And Key West and I'll choose City. Uh, Key West is in Monroe County. I click More Specific once again, type in Monroe, and choose County. Now SideBill will automatically keep track of my Monroe County list and my Key West lists. So that's done. Uh, also, Sidebill now knows not only about the park, but Key West and Monroe County. So if I go somewhere new on Key West or Monroe County, I only need to put that new location in Key West or Monroe County. Now, let me enter the Spindalis. This is a lifer for me, so it appears in bold. If I wanted to be cautious of the sighting and wait for an identification committee, I could mark the sighting status as not accepted. It'll still be counted on my life list, but left out of eBird exports. This field is also how you can enter introduced birds, escapees, and uncertain sightings. In addition to the Spindalis, let's say I saw a hybrid golden-winged, blue-winged warbler, and there was an impidinax that got away from me, maybe a willow flycatcher, maybe an alder flycatcher. Let's enter these. First, the hybrid. I'll enter golden-winged warbler, but instead of hitting enter or add species, I'll click hybrid. The list now will automatically prioritize close relatives of the first species. So blue-winged warbler comes up first. Add, and we've got a hybrid. I'll add some notes that this was a Brewster's warbler. Now, that willow or alder flycatcher. I'll start with Willow Flycatcher, and then click Spa, Alder Flycatcher, and done. This is now an Alder slash Willow Flycatcher. And that's it for this video.